Uttarakhand, India. And I'm here to give you a brief overview about what is IVF. IVF is nothing but in vitro fertilization. You know, the fertilization of the embryo is not happening in the fallopian tube that is in vivo. It is rather happening in a petri dish and it is commonly known as a test tube. So, the test tube baby is nothing but IVF procedure and it is usually done in four ways. The commonest one is that we take out the patient's egg and the husband's semen and then we make an embryo that is the commonest one sometimes in certain situations in which certain gamete is at fault so in that case we can take a donor egg and husband semen and make an embryo or we can take patient's egg and the donor semen and then the embryo is made and sometimes when both the gametes are at fault we can take both the donor samples the donor egg as well as donor semen and make we make the embryos. In that case, it is a donor embryo. So these are the four types of uh, IVF that we do and it all depends on which patient's need is what. So there are certain conditions in which the egg is not at all at fault and it is the less sperm counts. So there are other ways to new mechanisms to sometimes we can resort even to TISA to processes known as ICSI. So patient to patient, the requirement varies and according to that, we uh, use the techniques of IVF. That is why a lot of individualization is required and be prepared whenever you are undergoing this process. It will be a multi-step procedure. You know, first for 10 days, you will have, uh, you'll be getting certain injections. So that injections can extend in some patients. Then after that, ovum pickup is done. In that oocyte retrieval, what we do is that we give you a small anesthesia, uh, say for 10 minutes, and we put a needle and take out all your eggs. So that is done 10 days after your injections and uh, once the eggs are out, we uh, put the sperm sample over it and put it in a machine where the embryos are formed and usually most of the times these embryos are frozen and then taken out again after a month or two when your body is prepared to uh, implant the embryos. So that is the standard process and there are a lot of variations person to person and you should be ready for uh, this expense of uh, time as well as money and the results are usually good. So approximately, it's not 100%, approximately 60% patients would still conceive. The normal conception rate, mind you, is just 7%. So it gives a big jump from 7% to 70%, which is very, very satisfying. And uh, as we know, the infertility is uh, increasing leaps and bounds. So. This is just to make you aware about the basic steps and how to go about it.